Hi y'all, it's just Cynthia. And this video was not about hair, weight loss, or any of the other stuff I've been videotaping. Well, y'all probably heard me say something about my heart problem. What's the heart problem? It's called arrhythmia of my what makes a good BFF. I think that's the name of that video. And I decided to make a video about my heart problem. It's not like a sad video, it's just to talk about it. And, well, to stop it off. I don't know how long the video will be. Probably might be two or one. I don't know. I don't, remember. I don't know how long this video will take because it's like a lot of info and all that stuff. Okay, let me start with Um, My doctor, he found that in the beginning of last year, probably in January, I think February, I forgot when. And it was just a regular physical. So you know how your doctor listens to your heart for like a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds. But he was listening to my heart for like a long time. And I just thought like he was just listening to it and he can't really just hear it because he was just listening to it all the time. And he was listening to me. So you know how you ain't old enough so they bring your, your parent up in there to talk to you and say if you're alright and all that healthy and stuff. He said that I was healthy and then he said that he, I might have a rhythm. And he was like a heart virus. I'm just sitting there like, you know how you sit on a little thing with the white plastic paper that makes all that noise and move on it. So I'm just sitting there like, is this a joke? I got a heart problem? Are you serious? How, how can I have a heart problem? This is, you don't even know what you're talking about. This doctor is doing, you don't know what you're talking about. So, he was like, have you ever felt that your heart was feeling funny and stuff like that? And then I thought about it. Like, no. So then, so. Yeah, I have a arrhythmia. So. They had me take tests. And I forgot all, most of the name of the tests. They had me take a treadmill test and then run on it. And a halter test. A halter test is like, you know, little circle sticky things that you put, they put all over your body and all that stuff. And either hook it up to a, a screen to monitor or go to TV to screen monitor. But this one is just the holster that you wear, and it'll strange go to this little square packet on the side of you, this little belt, and you wear it for 24 hours. You can't take a bath with it, and you can do exercise and all the regular stuff, but you just couldn't take a bath with it. You have to bring it the next morning. I have to wear that thing, like, a couple of times, I don't know. I'm going to show some pictures of it so y'all see some. And, um... Yeah, and I, was, I had to take some medicine. They were expecting the medicine to work, but it did not. So they went to Plan D. Was to have a have a um, procedure done. I can't remember the name of the procedure. So when I figure it out, I'll put it up in a little description thing to the side over there, or is it over there? I don't know where it's at, but yeah. Um. Okay. I knew I was going to have the procedure done, and, like, the night before it, I was scared, I was crying, I was talking to my best friend, I thought I was going to die. The reason why I felt that way is because I, I'm not a good person. To tell you the truth, I'm not, I've done bad in my past, I'm trying, I'm trying to change since I'm getting older, and I'm about to get out of school soon. I'm doing an extra year in school. I will be out of school this year, but I'm doing an extra year because I messed up so bad I was missing 100 credits, so I had to do 11th grade over. So now I'm in 12th right now. So, yeah, I'm getting that done. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be graduating. And if I don't, I'm going to be very upset because I want to become a veterinarian, like I said before. And, um, yeah, I want a procedure. It's like, I know they said this. They take two tubes up your groins. I don't know if you know what the groins is, but like, yeah, I don't know. Let me show you. The little parts right here. Okay. But yeah. They take two tubes. They like really, really, really skinny tubes are down your throat. They didn't do down your throat. They just did the two tubes up my groins. Two goes all the way up to this. To your heart. And at the tip of the tube, they have like a little camera, I think a camera or something, I don't know, and they have it on the screen to show them where the heart, my heart is and all that stuff. And the little thing at the tip, 
burns a little part of your heart. They burn the parts of my heart, the muscles of my heart. And I was in there for like a while. Okay. I went in the procedure. I was scared the night before, but my because my best friend, she made me feel better and all that stuff. I cried the way there, but when I was getting ready to take my stuff all off and all that, putting the gown on, I was smiling and happy and laughing and all that stuff. Because my best friend convinced me that I was going in there and I was coming back out without a problem. I was going in there with a problem and I was coming back out without this heart problem. So, <clears throat> after the procedure was done, my doctor woke me up and he was like, we did the procedure and it didn't work. He said that the middle, the problem is in the middle part of my heart, so if it would have kept on going, if he would have kept on going, because he was the one that was doing it, I would have died. I wouldn't be right here doing this video if he would have kept on doing it. So, it didn't sink in, because I was feeling bad when after I was sleepy, going like this and all that stuff, and my chest was hurting real bad, and... I couldn't take the pain, so I told my doctor, the nurse, that I couldn't take this pain, so she gave me some medicine, and I felt better. So they, that was like, I was up in the recovery room, that tenth recovery room. So they took me upstairs later on to the recovery room. I was eating and smiling and talking, looking at the TV. And my mom was like, you know that it didn't work, right? And I was like, yeah, I know it didn't work. And like, I was still happy and all that stuff. And, um, what else? And then, like, and then, and it bothered me that it didn't work. But then later on at night, like at 3 something in the morning, when they were asking me why I'm not asleep and all that stuff, I was like, I'm not sleepy. So I was trying to make myself sleep, so she wanted to tell me again. And I was just laying there. And just keep doing like that. Started crying. Not just tears, but like, all that stuff. I can't even stop myself. I can't even breathe. I see my heart um, acting up on the monitor. And, um,. I couldn't calm myself down, and I basically cried myself to sleep that night. And I had to take another medicine right now called Mexilatine. I had to take it three times a day. I take it at 7 o'clock in the morning, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and 11 at night. And that medicine's working. Yay! Um, every once in a while, after the palpitations, that's, oh, oh, arrhythmia, it's like, um, and regular heartbeat, that's what it is. It feels like an extra heartbeat and all that stuff, and you can feel it, but it doesn't hurt, but it's an uncomfortable feeling and all that stuff. And I feel like once in a while, when I have to, before I was taking the medicine and all that stuff, I feel it all the time. Like, I'm not even feeling it right now. So I'm happy the medicine take working. I just hope it doesn't last for the rest of my life. I just hope that the, 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 that the problem will just go away, like, as I get older. Like, they don't even get why I have this problem when I'm so young and all that stuff. But, um, I don't even know how long this video's been going right now, so. Oh, they had me take more tests, the treadmill test, and that treadmill test was good, but the first treadmill test I did was bad. And I've done the Holter test ever since the problem, the, um, thing, since the procedure was done. And it was good, it turned out good. The other ones was bad, so that's good. Um... I still think I'm going to die, that's say. But my doctor always trying to convince me that I'm not, but I'm still going to think I'm going to die. Because you can, if you have a heart problem, you, you, you can easily have a heart attack or anything. <sighs> so now I try not to think about it. So that's what I'm going to do. So I end up crying. And then, since all this stuff happened to me, I'm trying to be a better person. And all that. So, I don't know how long it's been up and going. Stuff. So I'll just end it right now. Probably some more stuff, but I just can't remember right now. My bl my brain just go blank. I just think about so much stuff called constantly, constantly, constantly thinking about school, all oh, this and that, this and that. So that's it. Peace out. Bye.